Hello guys, SilverPlay22 here, bringing you another informed Silver Player review. Today we're going to be looking at Louis Advincula, who, you know what, he's actually, it means quite a bit to me because I used his inform from last year, I think he was at Hoffenheim, I used him for about 300 games, and that's quite a lot for me because I like to sort of make my way around Silvers, you know, try them all out, but this guy was so consistent last year, I had to get a piece of him this year. This inform looks absolutely awesome. But before we get into it, if you haven't checked out any of the Team of the Season Silver Player Reviews or Informed Silver Player Reviews or Man of the Match Player Reviews we've done, definitely go and check it out. And if you like Silver Players, this is the place to be. Like and subscribe because, you know, we do so much Silver content here. We've got the second episode of Silver Plated Hybrids coming out very, very soon, possibly even tomorrow. But let's get into looking at this card for now. 87 pace, 75 dribbling, 70 shooting, 70 fending, 76 passing, 73 physical. Three star weak foot, three star skill moves, 24k he cost me. And let's just say this guy has over 70 stats in everything. He can play anywhere on the pitch, according to his card stats. Will that be what we actually think of him? Well, I don't know. We'll have to find out. Looking at his mental and physical, more of the same. More consistency. Absolutely great pace. Decent enough strength. You know, good aggression. Looking through these card, these in-game stats, they're absolutely, they're so consistent, it's unbelievable. And I know I should expect it because he's got 70 on everything, but he's practically not got any poor stats. I mean, the only reds, he's got a goalkeeping. And I mean, he'd probably give that a good go if, if someone asked him to. He can play right back, right mid, left back. This is probably one of the first cards that plays at right back that I've just kept him at right wing back. Because after playing him for a few games, I realised he is very, very, he is a very capable defender. He's much better, sort of, as that sort of... I don't want to compare him to Kyle Walker, but that sort of super pacey, decent strength uh, right back who can bomb forward if he needs to. He has decent enough crossing, as you probably won't see in this clip, because he actually had a couple of bad crosses for me. But good crossing overall. Um, I would say he's, he's a defensive player. He's not he's not that player that you're going to shove out at right wing and just hope he does well on 7 chem. He, he, he's more than more than capable as playing as that right back. I personally like to play him as right wing back, as, I, as I've shown in the video. Because I do like that player who'll bomb forward and sort of, you know, cause cause danger. I like that sort of little one-two over the top and maybe lay it off to a player who's, you know, going to be a little bit, tiny bit more creative. You know, he, he was very quick. Doesn't feel too weak, as I said. His crossing, although it wasn't perfect, as you saw in the clips, it was good. And he was more than capable of picking a player out in the box. Decent long shots. I was really impressed with his long shots. Good passing range. Good defense. Good dribbling, like really good dribbling, to be honest. You know, very, very easily taking on a man and getting past him. Negatives, he isn't the best in the air, which, to be honest, it's not really something I expect from a right back because quite frequently they're not the best in the air. But, you know, it would have been a bonus if he had. And he is a very offensive player. He does like to push up. So, as I say, I do recommend playing him in that right wing back. But he's more than capable of playing that right back role because he has that, that decent strength, that decent pace, that decent passing good positioning, all that sort of stuff. So I really enjoy this guy. I've given him an 8.5 out of 10. I enjoyed him a lot more than I enjoyed the team of the season, Lima, which might upset a few people because I know he's a very popular player, but Advin Kula was just, he was just, I don't know whether it was just the pace that helped, but he's just so well-rounded. I felt like he had pretty, his weaknesses were, were very few and far between. Anyway, guys, for end chat today, who is the best right back in the world right now? Do you think it's someone like maybe Philip Lahm or possibly Danny Alves or something? You know, my my favourite fullback is, is Alaba, but he actually plays centre-back in CDM quite a lot these days, so... Be interesting to see which you guys say. So let me know in the comments, as I say, who is the best right back in the world? And are you excited for the next episode of Silver Plated Hybrids? I'm very excited. I've just finished it today, so it'll be coming out very soon. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter, guys, because I do communicate with people a lot on there. Thanks, guys.